I've actually never understood why Indian wine is so bad. Most of it is still, I mean, let's be honest, terrible. I grew up on stuff like Golconda and Ruby and little later Sula and that kind of stuff. I mean, these are great popular Indian brands and I have no desire to knock them, but I personally would not drink them. But if you now try the Indian wines that have come out over the last few years, there's a, let's try the sparkling wines. The sparkling wines from Maharashtra, made from the Chenin Blanc grape, there's the Chandon which is made by Moethe Shandor in Maharashtra. There's the Fratelli sparkling wine, which is zero dosage, therefore has no sugar. These are wonderful world-class wines. You look at the red wines that are coming out. I remember years and years ago, my school friend Kapil Grover and his father Kanbal Grover opened Grover Vineyards in uh, Bangalore. They got Michel Roland, who's one of the world's great winemakers to make wine for them. And that was an island of excellence. There wasn't that much else around there that was so good. But now you try wines from people like Fratelli. I'm amazed. I mean, these are wines I drink every day at home. They're available at the shops. They're easy to find. And they're more than equal to most of the cheaper wines that hotels and restaurants serve.